I finally saw my first 30 and 30 documentary I didn't like last night on Chris Heron, uh, who was a basketball player, uh, an outstanding player from Massachusetts. I think it was something uh, Falls, uh, Massachusetts, some Eagle Falls or something like that. You didn't know him well enough. You show him, they showed a lot of the documentary talking to kids to stay off drugs. Look, look, we understand all that. There wasn't enough. They showed his brother. It was very lazy. Whoever did the documentary just followed him around a little bit. There wasn't a whole lot of footage. I mean, maybe I just they just caught me on a bad night. But it's not like the Weppner one. And this guy had done the Marcus Dupree one. And if you saw the Marcus Dupree 30 and 30, you know that was good. This one here, sometimes you just pick the wrong subject. Nobody cares about Chris Heron. I mean, I'm glad he fig figured everything out. I'm glad he blew his whole life, and now he's trying to stop kids from doing that himself. But I, it didn't just, I, I shut it off 15 minutes in, and I love sports documentaries. I mean, I'm just saying, brought to you by the village of Rosemont, Illinois.